Hello, everybody. NASCAR stops in Juliet this weekend, and when they do, Riverton's Justin Algar will be there trying to win on the nationwide series because at number six in the point standings, as a rookie, he is a big deal these days. It's safe to say Justin Allgaier has stormed onto the nationwide tour. He is sixth overall in the standings and has more points than any other nationwide rookie. It's pretty unbelievable to, to sit back and look at all the stuff we've been able to accomplish. We've really worked hard at trying to get to this level. And, you know, it's it's just really awesome to be able to stand here and say, yeah, we're, we're sixth in points and, and we're leading rookie of the year. Eighth in the Sprint Cup standings, Kyle Busch also crosses over and races on the Nationwide Tour, and he's taken notice of Allgaier. He's been doing a really good job. I feel like um, he's been a, a good rookie that's that's learned some of the ropes this year. He's, he's struggled in some races. He's had uh, some rookie mistakes in others, like all of us have. Maybe the second half of the year he can run... Uh, run that much stronger and, and be better yet. Despite a great rookie season, Allgaier is not totally happy. He says the number 12 car has been running 6th to 10th all year long, and it's about time they start cracking the top five more consistently. We start learning more and more every week, and, and we've been able to get the cars better. So I think, uh, you know, coming up in the future, I think we'll, we'll be able to break that top five barrier and hopefully go out and win a race. Allgaier especially wants to have a good showing this week. That's because the hometown driver is expecting to have plenty of friends and family in the stands. I think this is one of the, the coolest racetracks, the way the racetrack's set up, and, and uh, so I, I think it's going to be a good show for the fans. In Joliet, Aaron Matus, ABC News Channel 15. buzz at Chicagoland Speedway, and it's not because Brian Vickers will be on the pole out there for the LifeLog.com 400, but because Macon Speedway co-owner and two-time cup champ Tony Stewart wrecks out Kyle Busch at Daytona for a win in the Coca-Cola 400 and this type of wild ending in the old tradition of I didn't mean to wreck him just rattle his cage a little has produced the type of response you might not expect from Stewart no finger pointing cussing or bombastic tirades instead Stewart says he didn't want to win that way for his part Bush today goes off script saying Stewart should have been black flagged he apparently hasn't made peace yet and our own Aaron made us questioning Stuart about this. No, I, we're not, not at all. I mean, I talked to him, and, and the conversation I had with him was a good conversation. So, that's, did he hint at you getting black flagged in the conversation you yeah. had with him? Yeah. So that's a different. His attitude's uh, changed. I'm not biting on your lure. You haven't been here around as long as most of these guys, and they know I'm not biting on it. I'm damn sure not going to bite on yours. If the second place driver dumps, quote unquote, the leader, then black flag. Get the win. You know, if he if he's on him from behind and moves him out of the way and there's no wreck, then fine. You know, he can win the race. But if you're up alongside a guy and you dump him, then um, I'd say black flag him and give the win to the third place guy. A lot of all American.